I know it sounds annoying when you hear of all these things that are being homemade, and it's like, seriously, who has time to do that? Well, let me tell you something. Everyone has time to make homemade chicken stock and put it in the freezer and use it throughout the winter. I know it sounds like seriously, I can go buy it. And yes, you can, but it usually has so much extra sodium and preservatives in it that making it at home is really so simple and so delicious. And it is such a basic that you need to know. That is why in the basic series, I think we need chicken stock. You can use it throughout the winter in soups. It is great to use around the holidays in gravies, and it is such a time saver to have ready to go. Seriously, when you make it once, I think you're gonna be like, this is all it is, and then you can make it all the time. And let me tell you something, you know exactly what goes into it, and it is delicious. To start, all you need to do is get ready some vegetables. And it's not near as much work as it is to get them ready for something else you're cooking. You just chunk them up and throw them in. Okay, clean them first, but otherwise. A few stalks of celery, just chop them up a little bit and throw them in. You really don't need to make small pieces here. A few carrots. I, of course, am using my homegrown carrots, so they kind of look a little knobby and odd, but they are delicious. Just use the best ingredients that you can buy here. I know it sounds annoying to hear, but you're extracting the most flavor when you're making a stock, and so organic ingredients really do have even more flavor. Then throw in some cloves of garlic. I just like to crush them before I throw them in just to make sure all those wonderful flavors come out of them. And then some onion. Just have the onion take off the stem and the root end and then just the outer leaves and then throw that right in. I love to add in a few bay leaves. If you can buy fresh ones at the store, you do want to use them because I didn't realize it, but they have so much flavor. And some of those old dried ones that you buy just really have nothing. So if you can get a little bit more fresh ones, try it. You're going to be amazed. Then I love to use the carrot tops of the carrots that I use. If yours don't come with tops, don't worry. This is just a little extra flavor, but if you don't have it, it is not important. But a bunch of parsley, and then whatever herbs you like. I don't like this to be too herb heavy because then depending on what kind of soup you make, it could overpower it. So I add just a little bit of sage. But if you have certain herbs that you love and you want your chicken stock to taste like them, you can throw them in here. Just bundle them up, tie a string around them, and throw them right into the pot. After your herb bundle is in, just put in the chicken. Just buy a really good quality chicken because, you know, the ones at a lot of grocery stores that aren't organic, they're gonna be pumped full of saline or water and really don't have that much flavor. So a really good organically raised chicken really does make a difference. I know, annoying to hear because you're like, seriously, I don't wanna pay more, but it's worth it. If you're making homemade stock, it might as well have the best flavor it can, right? And then finish with some peppercorns, some salt, and then just pour in your water. Once it's all in there, throw it on the stove and bring it to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you wanna turn it down and let it be at a very, very gentle simmer. And that means just a few bubbles every so often. If you do it at too hard a boil, it's gonna become a little bit cloudy and a lot more fatty from the chicken. It's gonna extrude all that fat and just kind of settle in there, which is gonna happen either way. But if you boil it a little bit more gently, you'll have a little bit more of a clear stock, which is so important. While, okay, it's not the most important thing in the world. It just looks better. So if yours is cloudy, mine sometimes is, don't worry about it. But just boil it very, very gently. This is really all it is. You let it boil though for like three or four hours. And I know that sounds like a long time, but that's what's wonderful about this. You can put it together, walk away, forget about it, do other things in your house. And then all at once you're like, oh yeah, I have stock ready. How wonderful is that? Once it has boiled, you're gonna notice that everything is kind of just mush. But that means all of their wonderful flavors have just been extruded from them. Pull it off the heat, and then strain it through a large colander into another large container. Once you have it strained and you've let all those vegetables drip off all that delicious stock, just remove all the gross things and throw them out. I know it seems like a waste to use a whole beautiful chicken and to use all these vegetables and then throw them out, but that's exactly what stock is. You are extruding all those flavors and once you have, there's no use to them anymore. So don't feel bad, just throw them out because seriously they are no good to eat. 
and then you are left with a beautiful stock. Let your stock settle, and I really love to let it come to room temperature, then put it in the fridge overnight, and then I like to skim off the top because there's always some fat on it. And once you have it in the fridge, it's the easiest way to do it because the fat has solidified and you can literally just spoon it off the top. Then just put it into airtight containers. I love to use these plastic deli containers. You can buy them sometimes at the deli counter. You can get them online. They are so simple. Just label what it is, put it in the freezer, and you are gonna have stock all throughout the year. Okay, I hope you can see that this is definitely a basic. It is something that everyone should know, and once you do it, you're gonna see how easy it is. Now, I will admit, I don't always have homemade stock around, but when I do, I do usually think, why don't I do this more often? So if you do big batches of it and put it in the freezer, it's ready to go, and it is wonderful. Do it once and you're gonna wonder why you haven't been doing it the whole time. I hope. Mm, actually, I'm pretty sure you will. I can't wait for you to try this basic. If you agree, make sure to click like and click subscribe to become part of the Gray Boxer community and be up to date on all of our videos. I love to make these for you and I love to hear from you guys how you're using them. Thanks for watching.